okay thank you thank you because i am not i was logged in earlier and then someone else logged in and i got logged out so um all right so um time-based metrics review And I know I made some changes to some of these last time, and uh, I can share my screen here. Oh, someone else is sharing their screen. Excellent. So, um, these are these are changes that needed to be needed to be made. Um, go back to the working group. Yeah. Um, so I think we, I think we have a framework for coming up with, with these in terms of using duration and time, or at least I feel like there were clear suggestions in that spreadsheet that Matt was sharing a minute ago. So Historically, we we've not used duration and time in a consistent way, um, and so I think um, Kevin had an action item to add it to the template, and Matt was going to file issues to rename three metrics. Maybe we could look at the template real quick and see if the guidance is clear. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Is there a link to the metric in here? Oh. Or just throw it in the template I'm, it, there is not i'm sorry I'm, I'm looking for it now and actually i i put the pull request in and i flagged it for review by matt uh, but the did i not see it i think the the team working on the community handbook merged it <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> excellent uh, so i sort of did my job <laughs> So hold on a second. Let's put it in like and I'll bring it up on my screen okay. here. Oh. Hey, oh, can oops. I ask a question really quick? Sorry about that spreadsheet we were just looking at with the time-based stuff. Is that meant to be directive to other working groups also or just in this working group? It actually looks directive to other working groups as well everybody yeah. so we should have some kind of plan to like disseminate that information i think matt submitted issues to the like i re i have a memory of uh going into the evolution and risk ones and making yeah. those changes i um, mean i just submitted issues based on the conversation that was to update some of the names that was it but not as yeah. far as the spreadsheet goes elizabeth no we have not do you want me to bring it up at the community meeting uh, just so people know, or yeah, that's probably so, a good idea. So, like, um, I think I missed the evolution meeting, um, and they missed the issue. I have uh, just put it in the chat. I have a pull request with one change for evolution here. Um, well, at least I thought I pasted. Oh, somebody else. Okay, yeah. And uh, so I think you know I made the changes that uh, were requested. If you click files changed, it should show up. Did you tie this to an issue? Uh, I did not. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't think I did. Um, I can though, really quick. This is, that was just, well, I guess I only put it in. Uh, rename. You don't have, yeah. Renaming a few metrics. Yep. Okay. This is issue 459. So I'll just edit the pull request to uh, apparently I didn't. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. All right. I see. I mean, is this all that changed? Uh, obviously, yes. Yep. <laughs> Based Hang on out. looking at. I'm adding the issue. 
Okay. Um, so now it is tied to an issue. At least I don't know why. It's there. So I think if uh, I think we can just merge this. Okay. Merged. Look at that merged. Okay. So that one's done, and I think that the one for risk, I also did. Okay, you can share that here too. Yep, I'm getting there. And then could you update the minutes just to reflect that those are merged when you get a chance? Yep, I will do that. You're doing uh, that, Kevin, do you want, or sorry, Sean, Kevin, do you want to talk about this? Uh, sure, so the two, there were two things, well, actually three things that I did. I, uh, I added the uh, context tags, guidance, and keyword guidance. Uh, okay. Right now there is a, so in that context tags, there is a, a link to the list of possible context tags. Yep. That is currently a Google Doc. This this probably needs to be turned into a markdown file Fair and enough. stored in the uh, community handbook. Uh, and when that happens, the, the link should probably change. Yep. Uh, general guidance is one to two context areas. Oh, sorry. Uh, and three to five search keywords. Uh, however, it's not, uh, I don't think we actually have limits on the website, so okay. it could be more than that if need be. Or... I think a key, maybe on a rare occasion we went past five, mm -hmm. but not, we try to keep it to just three to five. So asking for a comma delineated, uh, there's just a little bit of guidance on the keywords, basically related terms and synonyms. It's not meant to be a definitive list. Uh, and then if we scroll down, so I kind of cleaned up some of the formatting guidance. So the, the second page of this is all formatting guidance, right? So no, notice about documenting formatting. So I kind of, I cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, so we have metrics naming. Uh, Am I in the right spot? Do you want yeah. me to? Yeah, okay. so uh, under metrics naming, we have some general guidance on the naming. So the, the name of the metric should be the same in the metric heading, file name, so on and so forth. Uh, I added that. And then if we, we jump down a bit, there is naming convention for time-based metrics right there. Oops. Is there uh, a, a, a like a capitalize or lower letter instruction? Because we keep all the letters as a lower letter. That's what I recall in the file. Uh, yeah, so in between, there's the there's guidance right there where we have example names. Okay. Uh, so there's guidance there. Uh, URLs automatically get... Uh, uh, Oh, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think there's. It's not explicit guidance to use lowercase, though. Yeah, uh, maybe we can add a mention of uh, keeping it lowercase. Yeah, but the but the reason we're here is to look at the naming convention for time based yep. metrics. Yep, I agree. Uh, and it looks like we're. Uh, why are we not? Uh, is there something weird with the like the bullet points aren't working in the are we in a code is this like a code block yes well, that's weird you can see like this is the whole block yeah i didn't do that that must have already been like that uh okay i'll fix that but the but the naming convention for time-based metrics is what we're looking for here right so it's time to event and that event should be italicized uh, and then the description there is the amount of time until something happens. I the example see. is time to first response. Okay. I got uh, event divert event duration. Uh, event is italicized. Amount of time that something takes. Example issue resolution duration. And then the last one italicized event age. The amount of time that has passed for an unfinished activity. Example 
issue age. So based on our conversations uh, around time-based metrics, that is what I understood the guidance for those things to be. Yep, that looks good. Yeah, I think if you just post a link to that and I, um, under next to AI, Kevin added to the template, then. Yeah, and then my, my, my goal here when I edited that mm -hmm. was to, to kind of make some of that stuff a little bit clearer because the, the guidance for embedding images was kind of put together with the guidance for tables and lists. Uh, so I, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. However, everything is in a code block, apparently. So <laughs> I need to figure out uh, why that's happening or what the reason for that was. Uh, so uh, can you clarify what is being italicized in this? Uh... In the naming convention? Yes. The event. Event is okay. italicized in all of those, in okay. all of those uh, names, right? So the, the guidance is that event is the event is the thing that we are measuring. Right? Okay. So it's, it's time to some event. And it's, okay. or it's the duration of an event, or it's the age of an event. And this is how we, and so this is how we would come up with the names for those time based metrics. Uh, so if you look at the, the example there, you have time to first response. The event is the first response, okay. right? Okay. Uh, in the second example, issue resolution is the event. So, so in the uh, we third to, example, issue is the event. So we have to italicize uh, the issue or the first response. No, you don't have to italicize anything. It's just this is okay. just Kevin trying to make his point. Making it okay. yeah, that, that event is event is replaceable, right? It's time to event. Okay. And then in the example, okay. you should see that the event is italicized, so the event is going to correspond with. Uh, it's 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 it'll probably be okay. more clear okay. I was like, once we, once we, we have fix to it. Write... <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I was confused. Like we, we have to italicize the title uh, to make it no. more explicit. Oh, that's no. what my confusion was. Nope. Another okay. another thing we could have I could have done there was actually just put the square brackets around event. Yes. So that's the. Uh, but I, I I did it this way because I thought it would be a little more descriptive. Uh, if you think square brackets would be better, I can do that. Yeah. Because a square bracket indicates this needs to be changed based on the new name or something. Which That's the general the convention that we use. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. I do like square brackets now that you say it. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll switch it to square brackets then. Uh, Anything else on this, Kevin? You want no, to really. I just I'll just figure out what's going on with the code block, uh, okay. and then uh, and then I think it'll be fine. Uh, okay. Otherwise, uh, all right. There's another code block here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that just has some general formatting in there. And I'm guessing that that code block is there because of the this general formatting area actually because the the sum the sum heading part uh what was uh with the the alt text link yep so uh okay that's that's where we would need the block so i'm not sure why it's taking up so much space uh, i'll fix it okay right on thank you kevin anything else on time stuff as we sort that out, Sean, you had put a couple of your pull requests in there as well, or maybe just the one. No, the two. There's two. I put and I added. Uh, I added notes in the um, about the pull request in the spreadsheet, and then I just okay. put the ones that I think remain to be done, um, and the ones that are complete. Okay. In uh, in here, just for direct linking purposes. Okay. <clears throat> Can you let me know which ones have been have been name changed is it yeah. just those is it just those two just, those are the two i did i don't know if others have been done uh, um it was so these kevin those three so yeah. issue response time hold on a second was issue response time done as well 
I, I don't. It was, these were the three that were like, I think, asked to be done. But I, yeah, at this point, that's Kevin, right. these are the two that have been merged. issue resolution duration, mm -hmm. defect resolution time. Oops. Defect resolution. Okay, so when when those when that change does go through, it will uh, break the link on the website. Okay. So when I change that, I will also add a URL redirect. How about that? Yeah, yeah, and you know, you could also just at this point, Kevin, wait for the num numerification of the links and do the re do all the redirects at once. Like, I think for now, just don't do any extra work. Do the work when the website's released, and we do what we talked about in the web meeting. Okay. Well, I mean, in the in the short term, it will these these links will yeah. be broken. There won't be anything that's, there. That's okay because okay. nobody's relying on the links because they break right now anyway. So uh, that's all right. Well, I mean, if, well, if it doesn't take too much time just to do yeah, just you're right. redirect then on the website, because otherwise- um, That'd be cool. On chaos. So, so, we, so the, the thing is we do, we link, we link to these metrics from other metrics. Yeah, so you should- so it, yeah, It's so gonna you, have to be done anyway. Yeah, okay. So it'll it'll all, we'll always have to have that that URL redirect. Fair. So uh, in the GitHub, I've observed one thing. I don't know if others have observed. If you change the name, uh, the previous name also points directly to a new link. So as we change the value to OSPO, and I was typing value in the GitHub like URL, it uh, redirects it to the OSPO working group. On GitHub, that works. On our website, it yes. doesn't. Yeah. So yeah, they do. They do do that automatic redirects on GitHub, but I don't know how long they. I don't know how long they maintain that. If that's something that uh, eventually goes away, or if it's just a temporary redirect, or it's at, yeah. My experience is it's at least a year, and it's less than two. Yeah. Either way, we have to. Yeah. Yeah. We have to address. We have to address it on our end. John, you wanna? So I think um, are are there any? There are, I don't think there are any other things under the time based metrics review. Uh, there's a new metric uh, with with some um, visualization with uh, that have had have had some action items that are done. So perhaps we want to look at this time waiting for reviewer action metric, and yeah, and see is, where it's at. Uh, this is ready. Uh, so one thing I need uh, is like, we have a synonym in this rather than synonym, we need to have uh, now the tags and keywords. So is this just because this originated with an old template? Yes. Correct. Okay. Since we have a new okay. template ready in March, so I would uh, rather make it more uh, clear and then more uh, create a PR. So uh, why don't we um, do I spend like yeah. five minutes making final changes and edits right now? Yeah. Which it's, one is this? Uh, time what? waiting for a review. It's time it waiting was... for reviewer action. It's now called what was time, time waiting for review is now time waiting for reviewer action. Is that right? No, it was no. previously time waiting for a review action, but now it's called time waiting for a review. Simple. I've I've changed the name in the Excel sheet. Okay. Yep. So, uh, what should be the synonym and uh, or I'm saying uh, tags and keywords for this? Yep. So, if we take time waiting for a reviewer action and we take a look at it, you know, from a keyword perspective, or I'm sorry, from a context tag perspective, here are our, oh, what? Uh, I'd started editing <laughs> before looking yeah. at the canonical list, it's just going creating chaos again. Well, from a keyword perspective, you can. Okay. It's just the context tags are, you know, mm -hmm. those boxes that we saw on the website on the redesign, mm -hmm. though, that's these boxes. These are those. It's definitely life cycle. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I was thinking of uh, there was think one more option. Contribution. Contribution. Yeah. Contribution. Life yeah. Life yeah. Life yeah. Life yeah. Life and contributor or contribution? Contribution, I think. Yeah. And and are we doing like hashes on the keywords or is it on the tags rather? Or is it just the tag and is it all lowercase or uppercase? That doesn't first? matter. All right. So keywords. So no, for the tags, do we put the hashtag in front of the tags? No, 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 okay. it's just, it's just comma delimited. Uh, and that should say context tags. And the, uh, the bottom one will say keyword tags. Can you double check the template? I think the template only said keywords. That would be better. I'm pretty uh, sure it did. I think it said context tags and keywords, if I remember from our last meeting. Yep, keywords. That makes more sense to me. Thank you. Yeah, I just I just added that. So <laughs> keywords would be better. Okay. I just changed I'll change it in all the working for this column as well. Okay, so um what would be the keywords that we have? Time waiting for reviewer action. Oh. Can you share the link to the uh, the metric real quick? Yep. This one? Uh, it's in the minutes. Is it in the minutes? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's on the top of. Um, okay. So the question: How long does it take a? How long does it take a change request reviewer to review a specific change request? Time waiting for a review measures the time from when a submitter submitter has submitted a change within a review cycle until it is reviewed. So there uh, may be multiple reviews within a cycle, and this measures the time between each review. So should we, can we have like duration or time? Um, because anyone looking for any time-based or duration-based metric, this should pop up in the search. Say that again, Bernard. I'm saying, uh, should we have a time or duration uh, in the tag? so that anyone looking for any time-based metric, this should pop up in that. Like this? Search. Just under the keyword yeah. tag? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we can keep the time or duration in all the metrics which are time-based metric. Do we want to include time and duration, even though that is counter to the yeah standardization effort just because people search on those words interchangeably in a way or yes i'm i'm wondering if this metric is actually reviewer duration review duration and not time waiting for review we had that before i think yeah that's what it was before and then it became this no uh, i don't yeah i don't think it was ever reviewed duration it's always been time waiting it was for reviewer action yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the the time the time waiting bit mm -hmm. is the the part that throws me off. So I, I'm just I'm picturing someone so they're tapping their fingers, waiting for waiting for a reviewer to finish. Uh, I, I think this is I think review duration is what we're asking for. Not uh, it's not a it's not a time to it's a it's a duration. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we have been going back and forth on this discussion, like change request for review know. duration. I mean, we, we have guidance now. So there's a document that provides guidance. There wasn't prior okay. based on that new guidance. So time to even this is even duration. It's like um, a reviewer. 
be no review duration. So this can be now a review duration. I can see the second one, right? Review duration. If I if I follow that guideline, what so do you think? Right now, it's published as a review review, review cycle duration within a change request. Right. So um, it can be review duration, or I think it's just review duration. I mean, that's an easy enough change to make now. We want to be clear that it's change request review duration, or I'm just going to make it more complicated by asking questions. Sorry. I, I think I, I think change request review duration matches would match some of our uh, uh, like that. Yeah, I mean, it is. This is what's getting reviewed, so it would let okay. people find change request stuff. All of this. Yeah, I think that's change request. Like change request. Yep. So, what else needs to change in here based on that? Okay. Yeah, I um, think we reading. have to read the. Yeah. What's the so real quick though there's another one that's very similar to this one so which is a uh, change request duration this is like within that change request a single setup uh, like if you have a big change request i submitted one change request and then i resubmitted or resubmitted within that entire cycle so this measures one specific part within that entire cycle Okay, so it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, this name doesn't interfere with one that already exists. Okay. Can I ask a quick question? Um, I know we internally call everything change requests, but someone new to chaos that might be coming from GitHub, would they still be using pull requests? Like, should we be adding pull requests in these keywords? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. I agree. I just want to bring that up. It's a good point. It's a good point. I've, I've, I've been so chaos trained to use the generic term. Oh, that's the other one. Okay. Review cycle duration within a change request is the other one. Yeah. Is that a separate metric or are those words in this metric? So the, the review cycle duration within a change request metric measures the duration of the entire review. So all of the reviews. Yeah. Uh, this metric very specifically mm -hmm. looks Measures. at a single review within the change request. Yes. Uh, so, and the review cycle duration within a change request is also a common metric. Is it? I was kind of wondering about that too. I was first, I was thinking it was an evolution metric. So I was over there looking to, yeah. Uh, because I mean, 
just from a common i'm okay with it but just from a common perspective this this makes it a little less like common are always those metrics that kind of float across all things potentially and this one certainly does i agree with you kevin kind of have an evolution feel to it like that that kind of workflow of yeah. something but, but is, i mean it doesn't is, really matter where they which is why the new the new which tags the new tags will help us make that not matter at all actually we're starting to even like in what was it the what working group oh we're in the ospo working group we were getting rid of focus areas like it's just not going to yeah. really matter at this point which is great yeah. to be yeah. honest with you yeah I, flat I flattening structure good i way 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 prefer this it's like a set of decisions that we don't have to make anymore <laughs> it's great Pretty soon we'll have all the metrics in one tab on the spreadsheet. It's called metrics. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when um, this gets long, we need the classification. And when it's too small, we want to get rid of it. So it's, it has been back and forth. Well, per the, per, per the meeting in the previous conversation, I'm really glad we're adding a primary key uh, because I've, I've been contemplating uh, Chaos Metrics database for a while. Yeah, that's a nice byproduct uh, of the numbers. That, yeah. I that thousand could, percent support that. So that database could maybe replace the knowledge base in a couple